Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a Java project on sports management system. Let us begin. First of all, let's start with the let's start with the requirement. You will need a Java IDE and a Swing module. Java, you can use any IDE of your choice, and the Swing module will be utilized for, to make the GUI part. Okay, let us now understand the working of the source code. Okay, this is our main method. I am calling, uh, I am making a new object of the sports class. Okay, let's see our sports class. This is our sports class. And uh, I have made a form over here. Design this form to create one. You can go over here in the package, right click over here, click on new, swing UI designer and GUI form. Then these form can be designed by the J buttons over here and the panel. Name this panel. I have named this panel as main panel. And uh, correspondingly, you can write the code in the Java file, dot Java file made this constructor over here this code will be generated as you design the panel and uh, i have created a frame over here this is the constructor and uh, this is some boilerplate code you will be requiring to uh, make sure the window will be visible and uh, Okay, and this is the listener of the button. This over here, I have created the listener. You can create one. This is the listener of the next button, infrastructure button, and this is for the staff button. Okay, let's make these classes too. I have made three classes name as staff, infra and sports data let's look at them this is my first class which will be sports data i have designed it and uh, i have used over here is j table you can find it from here and before adding the j table you need to first add the j scroll pane okay to make it scrollable i have added this button so that it can be redirected to the main screen similarly you can create the staff and infrastructure and then i have uh, created the constructor and in constructor i have made the frames like in the previous classes similar code this is similar code and uh, use panel okay name the panel first use this panel here this one and i'm going to explain about the method table data in a minute uh, let me show you what's in the listener okay what i'm doing here is disposing the frame okay as soon as you click the button this home button what will it do that it will uh, remove the frame the screen and then create a new object of the sports class which is our main screen okay i have uh, uh, provided the similar code in the staff file staff.java and infra.java okay let's uh, jump on to the main class okay so on pressing this button sports button what i want to do is uh, move on to the sports data file this this file okay so what i have done here is dispose the main screen and then created a new object of the sports data okay and similarly did this in infrastructure button and in staff button okay and uh, what we have uh, here is the main 
method uh, method of uh, showcasing the table data this i have stored in the database in the sql okay to connect it first you will be requiring this line okay and then build the connection from this do mention your uh, database name the uh, username and the password okay and then i'm creating one let's uh, run this line create statement then this one result set it takes the query which is uh, i am selecting all from my table the table name i will provide in the class which i will be using to display the data so i have uh, uh, injected the query in this line and then i am just calling set model to the r table and uh, this will be another method which i am using but uh, we can also use uh, uh, db utils class to showcase the data from our database okay this is an alternative okay this is the method which returns default table model and uh, it's uh, creating a vector with the name column names and uh, i am taking the metadata and counting the columns and then adding it over here in this columns vector and finally uh, i am storing the data all the data in the result set in this vector new data and returning the default table model with data and column data being the table uh, data being our data and uh, column names are decided from the database okay this is it let's uh, run the main method okay on clicking it it, it removes that frame and introduces a new frame this is the information that i have stored in the database and uh, on clicking it it will return to our main screen similarly all buttons work good okay so to connect to the database go over here file go over to the project structure in the libraries in modules you need to add a file a jar file this my sql dot connector over here and then click on apply okay it will add the connector to your database i hope you understand the working of this code thanks for watching subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas Thank you.